Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about analog and digital data. As we know that uh, one of the major functions of the physical layer is to move data in the form of electromagnetic signal across a transmission media. And uh, generally what happens, uh, the data which is usable to a person or application that are not in the form that can be transmitted over a network. So what happens to be transmitted, data must be transformed to electromagnetic signals. So what happens uh, that data can be analog or digital. So first we will study about analog data. So what happens in analog data? Analog data refers to the information that is continuous. Analog data are continuous and take continuous values. For example, uh, as you have seen an uh, analog clock which has hour, uh, minute and second hands. That clock gives information in continuous form. As you can see that the movement of hands in that clock are continuous, right? In analog uh, clock, the movement of hands are continuous. So it gives information in continuous form, right? Another example is, uh, you can see that the sound which is made by human voice, it takes on continuous values, right? When someone speaks, an uh, analog wave is created in the air and uh, which can be captured by a microphone and converted to an analog signal or uh, sampled and converted to a digital signal, right? Now, we will study about digital data. So what happens in uh, digital data? Uh, the digital data refers to information that has discrete states, right? Uh, digital data have uh, discrete states and take on discrete values, right? Uh, for example, as you have seen a digital clock, the digital clock does not give continuous information, right? It gives uh, digital information. A digital clock uh, which reports minutes and hours, it will suddenly change from 6.30 to 6.31, right? So what happens is the digital clock, it doesn't give continuous information, right? Uh, digital clock gives digital information, right? Another example is that uh, as you already know that uh, data which is stored in computer memory, it is in the form of zeros and ones, right? They can be converted to a digital signal or they can be modulated into an analog signal for transmission across medium, right? So what happens the data which is stored in computer memory in the form of zeros and ones that is digital data. It is not analog data. It is not continuous.